Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So here is my uh, Havartia Limifolia. And uh, I thought I will separate the pups because you can see they are getting slightly congested in the pot. Uh, they are growing on either sides. Uh, I'll take out the bloom stalk as well. So once the bloom stalk is dried, it tends to come out very easily. This is the bloom stalk. So now, uh, before I take... Uh, the uh, succulent out, uh, the pup out, I want to check where are the root system uh, because I do not want to uh, cut it off or pull it out without roots because then it's going to be very difficult for it to, uh, you know, kind of uh, grow those roots back because we want a good amount of roots and you can see the roots over here. Now, these are the roots of the mother plant uh, or probably it might be some more pups. I'm not very sure at this point of time, but... Uh, this is the root as you can see and it is connected with the mother plant so we need to be very careful while taking it out uh, because as I said I do not want to pull it out without the roots so let me clear off some of the soil over here now if you want you can take out the entire plant out and then separate it because that's going to be much easy but then again I do not want to disturb uh, the mother plant uh, it is very very uh, well adjusted in this pot so what we will do is just cut it off over here and then a little bit over here and there we go so this amount of roots is more than enough uh, a lot of times what happens when you tend to pull it out uh, only this portion tends to come out and the roots stay into the soil that's not very uh, good for the succulent so if it is if the roots are like this this is absolutely fine it will acclimate and the roots will start to come out once the succulent is adjusted in the new pot it will uh, start to grow well so let me clear off some of the dust and it looks like the the roots are very very healthy a good amount of roots uh, the pop is very small uh, but it's of a decent size to be separated i think it is uh, let me just check so it is around uh, let's say 3.5 centimeters and i think that is a good uh, decent size so let's take out the other one as well now this one is a little bit more bigger compared to the other one so even this one i'll try to loosen the soil a little bit from the root area and so i think this one is a little bit more uh, well established in this pot but uh, we will take it out and uh, the roots are right over here so it becomes little difficult to separate it especially when it grows quite big so i think this one has a good amount of uh, big roots and uh, you can see it's of a good size this one is a little bit bigger but nevertheless it looks fantastic i think i'll have to clean this completely uh, because there's a lot of soil in between and i dropped everything on the mother plant the mother plant looks fantastic very good growth and the pup also looks i think probably i'll put some water and clean it not right now because we have just cut the uh, roots so i'm just going to let it dry for at least a day i'm going to put it in dry soil uh, i'll plant both of them right away and this is the mother plant the mother plant looks extremely uh, healthy again these all dust and mud splatter because of the rain uh, it is giving a very bad look but nevertheless the succulent is very happy i will probably take a year bud and clean it a little bit of the soil but overall the succulent looks absolutely healthy now i'm not going to water this uh, pot right now and i think these might be some more of uh, the pups i'm not very sure but i think that might be a pup uh, because it looks a little bit different than the root so probably it is a pup I'm not very sure we will get to know later on but right now I'm not going to water this pot I'm not going to water the mother plant because we have done some cutting and uh, the roots have been cut so we do not want to uh, rot them by putting in water and I'm not saying that it will rot but there could be a chance of rot so we do not want to add any water right away uh, now these pups uh, I will keep them out for at least a day or so so that the roots can dry completely uh, if you want you can directly put it into the soil there is no issue as long as the soil is completely bone dry 
Now some of my soil, uh, it has a little bit of moisture, so I do not want to take that chance. So what I'm going to do is just like uh, rest of my uh, succulents that are kept aside, like these I have kept aside. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to keep this aside in the same pot so that uh, I have a clear idea that I have to repot these very soon. Otherwise I might forget. So we are going to keep them aside and uh, we'll wait. Uh, because the soil is slightly moist, I have to wait for it to be completely bone dry. Only then I'm going to add it. Even though uh, the roots are present, uh, there are some cuts on the roots. So we do not want to take a chance with that. So that's all about it. It's very simple. Again, guys, Limifolia takes a very long time to uh, put out the pups. Uh, this plant has been with me for almost five years now. So this is uh, the pups started to uh, show up uh, probably uh, the starting of this year. And uh, I went ahead and separated it now. So probably now because they are going to be in individual pots, probably they might have a little bit faster growth because again, um, Havartha limifolia is a, a winter grower. It's a summer dormant and a winter grower. So probably uh, it might do quite well. The pups might do quite well during the winter. So all we have to do is just keep and watch on it. So that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.